on this Mothering Sunday, let's stop thinking about coronavirus for a minute and think about the women in our lives. In the Bible, women play an important part, sometimes for good and sometimes not so, yet Jesus, God's Son, always had time for both men and women in need, despite the societal rules which favour men. So let's pray. Dear loving Heavenly Father, we come before you now and thank you for the mothers who gave us birth. We pray for all mothers and women today that they will feel special and loved. We thank you, Lord, for the many talents that women as well as men have uh, got. And we thank you too for those who are giving service to our country at the moment work in the emergency services, the NHS, schools, national and local government, our shops and factories, in logistics and communications. We pray for strength, encouragement and good health for them as they do their best for Britain as well as their families and friends. Dear Lord, we are conscious that we often let you down by not thinking, saying or doing what we should. Your standards show us that we have all fallen short and we come to you now asking for your forgiveness. Thank you that Jesus died on the cross, taking the punishment for our sins and the sins of all, so that we can be made right with God and be forgiven and able to start afresh. Thank you for your word in 1 John 1 9 that tells us that if we confess our sins, you are faithful to us and you will forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Dear Lord, we think now of women and men in need. We pray for those who are suffering from ill health, especially those with the coronavirus, and we pray uh, for those who have recently been bereaved in a moment of quiet, let's lift up to the Lord anyone known to you who is in special need at the moment. Be with each one, Lord, we pray, and we ask for healing and your hand of blessing on each one. Give medical personnel wisdom and skill as they care, and may those who mourn be comforted and gradually rebuild their lives. Gracious Lord, we also think at this time of those who we know have recently been affected by flooding in the UK and who are now having to cope with a coronavirus threat. We pray that they will get the help they need and that the Environment Agency will do its part to prevent future flooding. We pray too that long term we would all do our part to minimise climate change. Dear Heavenly Father, we bring before you now families and friends in special need at this time. Those needing the help of food banks, the homeless, the elderly and disabled. We thank you that the Salvation Army in Birkenhead have recently opened as a food bank as others have had to be temporarily closed. We pray that as a society and individually, as we are able, that we would be willing to offer support to our neighbours in need. We thank you for the support services that are continued to give care to the vulnerable and risk them to themselves. We pray for their protection. We pray too for Wilboa councillors and for the government as they have to make decisions in uncharted waters that they will make wise decisions. Lastly, I would like to pray the prayer that was printed in the World Globe newspaper this week for us all. Dear Lord and Father, you are a mighty God. We pray for the eradication of this awful coronavirus and to focus on you, to keep us calm and patient during this very unsettling, fearful time. Give us the strength to cling on as we put our faith and trust in you giving us the confidence and assurance that you love us and that we are in your hands. Keep us well and safe, we pray, 
In Jesus' name. Amen. And a happy Mother's Day to you all.